Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and uh, I'm here with a C++ exercise from the book uh, Starting Out with C++ from Control Structures Through Objects by Gaddis and this is chapter 9, exercise 11 named Array Expander. This is fairly short, we are going to write a function that accepts an integer array and the array's size as arguments. The function should create a new array that is twice the size of the argument array. The function should copy the contents of the argument array to the new array. In other words, if there's any, since it's an integer, if there's any numbers, we will copy those numbers to the new array. But we also will initialize the unused elements. Remember, uh, this is uh, going to be twice the size. So uh, if the first one has 10, argument, uh, 10 elements, the second array will have 20 elements. And the first 10 elements will be the numbers from the first array. And the next 10 elements will be initialized to zero right here. And the function should return a pointer to the new array. First things first, this is C++, this is arrays. What it means is that arrays are not, by nature, uh, expendable. The arrays are constant. If you define an array with uh, 10 elements, then that's what it has. It has 10 elements now and forever. So this exercise, however, asks us to create a second ar array, uh, not just to expand the first one, we will simply create a second one. However, we are going to uh, only point to it instead of uh, <coughs> copying the numbers back and forth. We are going to point to the second array. So, what's next? First, I'm going to uh, start using uh, namespace, of course. Uh, namespace std. There you go. <coughs> and um, and uh, also, since this is S uh, <coughs> namespace std, we will also include uh, the IO stream. There you go. So, um, we, that's the start. Now, first, we are creating a function that returns a pointer and takes two arguments. Remember, it takes the integer array, the first array that we pass in into as an argument, and the size of that array. So we can create a, a prototype that create, uh, we are returning an integer array. I'll just call it expander. That's going to be our function. And it expects integer array and the size of the array. So I name it size. So that's our uh, prototype, but uh, now I can come over here and actually create that function. All right, expander integer array and integer size. All right, so um, let's go back to main and let's create the first array. So it's gonna be an integer array. I'll call it just array. And we initialize it right away to, I don't know, five elements in the since it's an integer. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that's our array. It has five elements, and it, like I said, that's what it has. It won't have less, and it won't have more. So since we are passing the size of it, so I'm going to create an integer called size uh, that equals to five. And um, well, I guess I can call the uh, call the function, make the call. So it's gonna be a calling the int uh, the function and passing the pointer that it will return. Remember, it's returning a, a integer pointer. So I'm creating a variable int or integer pointer called array pointer, and now I will, will call the array expander function and pass the array that we created, the first array and the size of it, just like the exercise uh, asks us. So whatever we process here in this function, 
will be returned and our array pointer the variable over here will hold that value so um, um, let's get into our function and actually create the expander uh, so I'm going to create uh, the new array and the new array will be twice the size uh, of the original one that is being passed into this function so I will create an integer a pointer called expanded array because this is what we will uh, uh, actually return from this function the the pointer to this uh, new array so it equals to new integer array and we will define it as you could just write 10 but uh, then if you change any of these values like by default if you decide to let's say make 10 elements then you would have to come over here and change that as well and plus we are passing the size of the array so all you have to do is simply multiply that size by 2 and you get double so uh, the size will be size by multiplied by 2 so this is our integer pointer that points to our new array that has in our case 10 elements we just create an array with 10 elements and we are pointing to it so now we can uh, uh, let me just write move uh, how would I move elements from uh, original uh, uh, it's a comment so from original array into the expander array and um, we will initial initialize the rest of the elements in a new array to zero that's what the exercise wants us to do double the size copy the first uh, all the numbers from the first array and the rest of the size of the all the elements in that array will be uh, initialized with a uh, zero so now let's do the uh, let's populate that array and initialize it with zeros and uh, move the first elements from the array that we are passed in as an argument and then for the rest we will uh, we will initialize those to zero so it's gonna be a for loop integer uh, i equals zero i is less i is less than the size and again multiply that by two instead of writing ten remember we are creating our array uh, that has twice as many elements than the first array so simply multiply the size by 2 and i plus plus oh, this is like that and um, within the loop we'll simply um, we are passing the uh, size into it in this case it's gonna be 5 so uh, how do we know when it's half well we know the first uh, half will be the size of the variable size and the rest of it will be uh, zero so if the i is less than the original size in other words it's one two zero one two three four uh, then uh, we will we will populate it with the array elements that we passed as the arguments so our expandy expanded uh, expander array uh, of the element i will simply equal to the whatever the element the argument or the arr argument the array has in it so that's for the first half if the i is less than a si than size and after that so it's the else we will populate it with zeros so expand the expander array i equals zero so this will populate it with the one two three four five and this portion will populate it with zero 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 five zeros and when we're done we'll simply return the pointer that points to that array we will simply return the expander array because that is a pointer all right so we, uh, over here it's an integer pointer so we will return the 
expanded expander array. So we're returning the pointer, passing it up here into. So now this uh, variable, this pointer, has the same value as the expander pointer. So now we can uh, we can display the new uh, doubled array. Once again, we'll do a loop for integer i equals zero. I is less than the uh, again size multiplied by two because we are doubling it. Uh, we are returning an array or pointer to an array that is twice the size. So hence again size by two or multiplied by two. And we will simply output the element. So C out. Um, we are outputting the array pointer of the element i. And, um, and we can do them all, each one a, a separate line. So, again, this is returning the pointer to the doubled array, passing it to our array pointer here. And uh, we are looping through it and um, print it out the value. So the, it basically will output one, two, three, four, five, and then zero, 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 and zero. So uh, let me build it and see if that's gonna work. Oh, I got some uh, some errors. Okay, the error I get is uh, unresolved externals. Oh, uh, that's typically when in the uh, definition the prototype is it not is not there or the prototype is there and the uh, function is not. But I have the uh, I have them both. Uh, let me just expand. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I misspelled expander over here. Array expander. I f forgot N. Uh, that's why maybe it's best to just copy paste the names. There you go. So they're the same. Okay. Well, let's try again. Ah, one build succeeded, so let's run it. And here it is. One, two, three, four, five, and five zeros. We did expand the array. We created the expanded array we, by the uh, multiplying the size by two, of course. Uh, we populated it with the original array that we passed as an argument over here. And then for the rest of the elements, uh, the other half we populated with zero. We return the the pointer and uh, assign it over here to our uh, new pointer uh, to our array uh, that points to our array. And now simply uh, in a for loop we are put all the elements uh, in that new uh, doubled array. So yeah, there it was. So it wasn't so bad, I guess. Uh, I know pointers are kind of scary, and uh, they take a little getting used to. But um, yeah, in this case, it wasn't so bad. After all, again, all we are doing is uh, creating an array with a certain size. In this case, we simply double the size and pointing to it, and then returning the pointer to that array, and then looping through that. That's it. So. Um, if you are familiar with uh, other languages like C sharp, for example, then um, or Visual Basic even, uh, that's basically the by ref, by reference, passing uh, like arrays a by reference. In other words, kind of just like pointing to them rather than by value, which means to copy in the actual values, uh, like integer, for example, that you would simply copy into another integer. But uh, by reference, you are pointing to that integer of that value rather than copying the value back and forth, which enables you to later uh, to reuse it without getting uh, without losing the original value. If you copy by value, or if you pass the uh, if you do any any uh, any kind of well, let's say math uh, against that integer in, against that value, 
and the value changes, then that's the new value. However, with pointers, you can grab that value, do all kinds of uh, manipulation against it, create uh, some new, new values from it, and then when the method ends, the, uh, the value, the original value is unchanged because you're simply only pointing to it. So you can use it in another method and you can use the original value uh, many times uh, from uh, the many different, uh, many different uh, methods or functions. But anyway, this is the, this is the exercise, fairly short, so uh, hopefully it was helpful. It showed you uh, a little bit of uh, how to work with pointers and arrays in C++. If you liked it, please click like, click share, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.